Round five of Allianz Premiership Women's Rugby. And it was top versus bottom as Saracens travelled to win this Leicester Tigers. In the northwest, Sale welcomed Loughborough Lightning, with both sides sitting on five points. Elsewhere, fresh off their first victory of the season, Trailfinders travelled to Bristol Bears. But we begin in Exeter, as the unbeaten Chiefs welcomed Gloucester Hartbury in a rematch of last season's final. And there for us in the commentary box, Sarah Hunter and first, Johnny Hammond. Copy Leach coming round again, doesn't want to change the bind. And it's over. First try of the game. Kelsey Jones, the try scorer. Ball! Easy enough for Gloucester Hartbrook. Just sailed over that try line. It's outstanding from the pack again. George didn't particularly like the options outside her. Huh? But there's always that support, isn't there? Here's Emma Singh, who's seen a space in front of her. Dances through it. Emma Singh needs support now. Gets it. Beckett. Oh, it's lovely. Champions rugby from the champions. And Rachel Johnson on the switch. Short says the referee. Johnson thought she was there, but it is there now. Crucial for Exeter Chiefs. Into that 22 now. Cantona clears out. They've got numbers on the right-hand side. It just needs to be shipped to Claudia McDonald. She sets the tackle. And Exeter have pulled themselves right back into this game. Salvin May driving more from Exeter. They've got advantage. Cantona. Tessier goes round the outside for Claudia McDonald. Oh. Gloucester don't challenge or they try and do is repel this drive. But it's shifted round to the left hand side as far as the Chiefs are concerned. And it goes back on the right hand side to Tosi driving the bus. And that bus is going over that night. And it's the bonus point score. This is better for Gloucester Heartbreak. Just five points down. Else. Oh, she gives the offload away. To Alex Matthews. And the seesaw nature of this game continues. Gloucester Heartbreak, those lengths of those kicks. And where's this one bouncing? Gloucester away here, surely. Oh, close to heartbreak through Mia Benner. Potentially have stolen this game away. It's obviously nice, um, but honestly, I gotta, go, I gotta give all the credit to our pack, like our defensive effort as well, especially in that second half. Um, it makes it easier for us to be able to play off that, but our defensive effort from everyone was insane. Mia Benner, I gotta say, class defense. Um, yeah, proud of the girls. A first meeting at this level between Leicester Tigers and Saracens, and the hosts, who'd lost their first four outings of the season, seemed determined to earn their stripes. Francesca McGee crossing with real class, and the conversion had them on seven points. Sarri's rallied just three minutes later. Their driving maul has been a real weapon this campaign. Sharifa Cosolo powered over, and they were just two points behind, but not for long. Leicester were putting on a show for the home support. Morgan Richardson going over, and this was a real turn-up for the Tigers. Saracens, though, are an experienced and strong outfit with the force to overturn the deficit. When Marley Packer rumbled over, they cut it back to two points. Now the away side were on a roll. Sydney Gregson spotted a gap and blazed through, and Kelsey Clifford powered over before the break for the bonus point score. And after the interval, Saris had their foot on the gas. Lottie Clapp finished off a flowing move before Paige Farries fed her fullback Jess Breach, who added a second in as many minutes. They were making it look easy. Add the conversion, and it was 12:34. 
The next one was simply beautiful. De Herder set things up and Saris built momentum from there, spreading the play wide and Gregson coasting in for her second of the game. The tries just kept on coming. Clapp and De Herder had added two more before Tess Fury got one back for the Tigers. It was too little too late and Saracens weren't done yet. Farries had the final say to cap her fine overall performance and with De Herder's conversion, the scoreline read Leicester 17, Saracens 60. A first away game in the league for Ealing Trailfinders. Bristol Bears, who'd lost their last home match, made the most of their visitors' away day unfamiliarity to take the lead. Dominating the mall and Lana Skeldon crossing over. Just two minutes on the clock. Ellie Green's two penalties for Trailfinders made it 7-6, but Bears had the wherewithal to respond. Real strength there from the Bristol side. And Skeldon did it again. The London team's historic win last time out had given them confidence though. Rosie Inman forced her way through and they were only a point behind at the break. Green took them into the lead with her third penalty of the game, but once again the Bears clawed back the advantage. Hannah Bottoman rumbling over. And they followed that up soon afterwards with another rolling maul. This time, Lark Atkin Davies scored the try. And with the conversion, there was a nine point margin between the teams. That seemed to inspire Bristol to another level in their performance. Meg Varley launched a fierce attack. She set up Phoebe Murray, who sprinted across the line. Once they had the conversion successfully scored, they were on the offensive again. Varley collecting the ball and scoring herself this time. Just before the whistle went, another great move for their seventh try of the game. Merrill Smith crossing over to secure a 41-17 win, their third victory of the campaign. Finally to the Corpac Stadium, where Sale Sharks took on Loughborough Lightning, and Lightning shone first with Daisy Hibbert-Jones getting the ball over the try line and a successful conversion followed. They'd lost this fixture last season and looked to be making amends. Carmela Morrill carried over. A smart move from Loughborough to extend their lead. And before the break, she was at it again. The 19-year-old centre making it 17-0. Sale came out revitalised and Morwenna Talling gave Morrill stiff competition in terms of style. Sharks keeping possession when Beatrice Rigoni was tackled and when Talling took hold, she was unstoppable. They were just 10 points behind. But the response came soon afterwards. Kath O'Donnell struck for lightning. And with Helen Nelson converting, that kept the home side at arm's length. The Sharks attacked again soon after, Nikita Prothero dotting down. But they couldn't catch Loughborough. 12-24, the final score. Confirmation of the results. A third victory of the season for Bristol Bears, Exeter Chiefs edged out by Gloucester Hartbury, Saracens with a big win away to Leicester Tigers, and that defeat for Sale Sharks at home to Loughborough. And this is how the table looks, a clean sweep for Saris after four games, Chiefs trailing by three points, then the Bears and Gloucester Hartbury with three wins from three, sitting fourth. Lightning now with 10 points on the board. Next time out in the Allianz Premiership Women's Rugby, Trailfinders host Sale, both targeting a second win of the campaign. On Saturday, a top-of-the-table clash at Saracens, who host Bristol, while second-placed Exeter are away to Lightning. Then, after Christmas, Harlequins are in action at home to the defending champions.